Hi, uh, this is Rebecca Cromian, or Becca, as many of you know me. Um, this summer I was an activities director at uh, Lutheran Hills, and I'm going to be doing a Devo with you today. So today's Devo um, is in Psalm 139, um, and in my Bible it's called The All-Knowing, Ever-Present God. And this is just a really important um, passage to me because it just speaks a lot of truth into um, how God knows us and just really uh, reminds me of how how much God loves us. So I guess I'll read it and I'll kind of um, interpret it, I guess, or add thoughts in as we go. So just go ahead, follow along or listen. Um, so the all-knowing ever-present God for the choir director, a Psalm of David. Lord, you have searched me and know me. You know when I sit down and when I stand up. You understand my thoughts from far away. You observe my travels and my rest. You are aware of all my ways. Before a word is on my tongue, you know all about it, Lord. You have encircled me. You have placed your hand on me. Uh, this wondrous knowledge is beyond me. It is lofty. I am unable to reach it. So God knows us um, better than we know ourselves. He just knows us so well. So carrying on, verse 7. Where can I go to escape your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? If I go up to heaven, you are there. If I make my bed in Sheol, you are there. If I live at the eastern horizon or settle at the western limits, even there your hand will lead me. Your right hand will hold on to me. If I say, surely the darkness will hide me and the light around me will be night, even the darkness is not dark to you. The night shines like the day. Darkness and light are all alike to you. For it was you who created my inward parts. You knit me together in my mother's womb. God made us. He made us all individually. He made us in our mother's womb. He has known us since we were born. I will praise you because I have been remarkably and wondrously made. Your works are wondrous and I know this well. This is also really important because um, we are God's creation. We are temples and we need to take care of our bodies because that is also glorifying to God. Just like we have to take care of creation around us, we have to take care of us as creations too because he made us perfectly in his image. Um, your works are wondrous and this very, and I know this very well. My bones were not hidden from you when I was made in secret, when I was formed in the depths of the earth. Your eyes saw me when I was formless. All my days were written in your book and planned before a single one of them began. He knows our entire future. He knows everything about us. He knows every day of our life before we were even born. He just knows. And we need to trust that wherever he guides us, um, whatever path God has us on, wherever he is pulling us, that that is the best plan because he knows. He knows where he needs us. He knows our future and he knows what's best for us. Um, verse 17, God, how precious your thoughts are to me. How, vain, how vast their sum is. If I counted them, they would outnumber the grains of sand. When I wake up, I am still with you. God, if only you would kill the wicked. You bloodthirsty men, stay away from me, who invoke you deceitfully. Your enemies swear by you falsely. Lord, don't I hate those who hate you and detest those who rebel against you? I hate them with extreme hatred. I consider them my enemies. That part's a little dark, um, but you know what? Again, we are called to love God deeply. Um, and you know, sometimes, especially when this was written, um, there was a lot of people who were against God and a lot of people putting down um, Christians. And this man is expressing, or this person is expressing, um, how they push back against those who don't follow God. Um, and then verse 23, search me, God, and know my heart. That is so important. God, know my heart. That is something I pray and I encourage you to pray. Know my heart, God. Test me and know my concerns. He knows them before we even pray them to him. Uh, see if there is any offense in me. Lead me in the everlasting way. So again, we are called to um, ask God to lead us where he wants us. And again, even though sometimes we think that we know um, where we should be. We think we know our future. We think we have it planned out, dotted the I's perfectly. You know, God has a bigger plan. God has a better plan. Um, and what, where he wants us is exactly where we need to be. And it's hard to trust him and it's hard to let go of that perfect plan we have. But, you know, he's known us, um, since we were formless. He knows us so well. Um, and we need to trust him. Um, so I'm just going to ask you to pray with me because you know what? That's how we always end and begin our divas at camp. So let's pray. Um, dear Lord, I thank you so much for um, all our campers, all our staff, Lord, everyone who has come into contact with Lomic, Lord. Um, I ask that you be with each and every one of them. I ask that you be with all our campers, Lord, during this time, especially those who did not get to come to camp this summer. 
Um, Lord, continue to lead them on the path that you want them on. And even though this may have been a hard year for a lot of them, I ask that you grant, grant them the strength they need. Um, help them to see the path that you have laid out for them. Um, help them to listen with open ears to where you are calling them, Lord. Um, and in their trials and in whatever the world may throw at them, Lord, help them to see that you are there in the darkness whenever they even maybe hide from you at times. Um, Lord, help them to see that you are there and you will never let go of them, Lord. Um, thank you again for Lomic, and just thank you for the opportunity we have to um, worship you freely, Lord. Um, all these things we lift up to you, um, and just thank you. Amen. Thank you.